Hello, good morning to you all. Today's topic is what are the causes of false positive sputum smear microscopy. And we suspect that this patient might have pulmonary tuberculosis, then ask for uh, investigation like sputum smear microscopy. Patient gives sputum in a sterile pot and the lab tech prepared slide out of that sputum and it is examined under microscope to diagnose uh, acid fast bacilli or mycobacterium tuberculosis. Now if the patient doesn't have pulmonary tuberculosis and still the sputum smear uh, result comes as positive then Patient will be put on antitubercular treatment, which is again uh, some strong antibiotics, and the main, uh, the actual diagnosis, the actual disease of the patient will not be treated. In that concept, in that misconception that this patient is having tuberculosis, and the patient will continue to take the antitubercular treatment, and uh, obviously, patient uh, mobility and mortality will increase the patient will not be cured at all and rather he will be exposed to some strong antibiotics which is which was not necessary at all anyway so uh, that was that is the situation if the patient is diagnosed as false positive uh, pulmonary tuberculosis now uh, what happens while doing the uh, microscopy while doing the slide preparation uh, there can be some mistakes, there can be some problems because of those issues patients, uh, the speak, uh, sputum report uh, might come as positive but actually the patient is not having pulmonary tuberculosis. So uh, let's start first, I will tell you the causes of this false positive result. The first cause of false positive sputum smear microscopy is food particles. If the patient eats something and doesn't clean the mouth properly, give the sputum for examination and left tech prepare the slide and some food particles which are acid fast means they retain the stain in the slide, uh, they might appear in the slide as bacteria and mistakenly the left tech uh, may report that the patient is having uh, tuberculosis. Uh, in this case we ask the patient not to eat anything before giving the sputum and uh, they are asked to give the sputum in empty stomach even if they eat something they have to clean the mouth properly then give the sputum for examination next is precipitated stain the slide is prepared by stain so if we use some stain which are prepared long back there can be some precipitations uh, of stains and uh, then uh, if uh, the slide is prepared with that stain, that, that precipitated stain might appear in the slide as long bacilli and can be mistaken uh, by inexperienced microscopist as acid fast bacilli. Here we can do something like uh, we have to use clean bottle to prepare the stain and we should uh, use freshly prepared solution Tested prepared stains uh, to uh, do this sputum microscopy. Next is environmental acid fast bacilli. There are a uh, few acid fast bacilli other than mycobacterium tuberculosis in the soil or water, they can contaminate the slide. Then we have to avoid those things uh, by using distilled water to clean containers. Next is non tubercular mycobacteria and nocardia. These are few bacteria which appear like acid fast bacilli or mycobacterium tuberculosis and uh, they cause some lung disease also. Next is yeast. Yeast can contaminate the slide or appear like acid fast bacilli. Then spores of uh, bacillus subtilis which is a bacteria can appear like mycobacterium tuberculosis or acid fast bacilli. Next is some fibers and pollen. During slide preparation, some uh, accidentally wool or cotton fiber or some bamboo fiber uh, can contaminate the, contaminate the slide and appear as acid fast bacilli. Next is scratches on slide. 
and it's very natural to uh, have scratches on slides some used slides can be there so scratches on the slide uh, can be confused as assist past bacilli by some inexperienced microscopist but it can be differentiated from acid fast bacilli because these scratches are usually long, longer than acid fast bacilli. They are in parallel rows and they usually disappear when microscopists attempt to see uh, any leukocyte in the cells in the slides. Last and the most important is contamination. So in the same room, the same lab tech handles lots of slides uh, all together like positive and negative slides. They have to treat those slides to prepare those slides. Uh, during that, there can be accidental transfer of bacteria. The first reason is uh, they use wear loop to make the slides. Uh, if they use the same wear loop to prepare multiple slides, then it can be transferred. The bacteria can be transferred from one slide to another slide. They should avoid this or they should properly sterilize or these days there are disposable uh, things to make these slides so they should use the disposable sticks to prepare slides. Next is oil dropper uh, can be contaminated. If the oil dropper touch the slide then from there they rub off some material, some bacteria and transmit this to another slide. Here, uh, we have to be very cautious and uh, the oil should be allowed to drop freely and uh, so that the dropper should not touch the slide. Then next is uh, oil immersion lens of the microscope. If the microscope, uh, the objective of the microscope touch the slide then it can also transmit the bacteria from one slide to another slide. Uh, here sometimes blotting paper is used that also should not be used uh, we should use some special lens cleaning paper or uh, cotton tissue paper to uh, wipe off the uh, lens of the microscope so that it uh, cannot transfer the bacteria from one slide to another slide and lastly uh, one slide uh, is prepared for uh, AFP uh, microscopy like uh, to see acid fast bacilli that same slide should not be used again uh, this slide uh, can be used from some other purpose but should not be used for acid fast bacilli this is very strict thing and uh, by uh, following these things following these uh, rules following these uh, directions we can avoid uh, false positive microscopy false positive smear result so that uh, our patient is not mistreated, uh, the diagnosis should not be a false diagnosis and uh, we can treat the patient properly and uh, patient is not exposed to uh, unnecessary antibiotics. So friends that's all about false positive sputum smear result. Thank you for watching this video, if you want to know more about tuberculosis Please subscribe my channel. I will continue to tell you many important information about uh, tuberculosis, many technical things about uh, investigation of tuberculosis and treatment of tuberculosis. Thank you for watching and stay healthy.